Wait three seconds first. Hopefully it runs well. Oh. All right, moment of truth. Five seconds or so. Okay, looks like I'm good. Now, uh, now let's go ahead and tweet that and spread the word. God, <sighs> I fucking hate spelling errors. Since this is running right now, might as well just explain. I made a typing error when messaging to a friend. That shit happens to me a lot. Um. Um. Well, oh, no, not there. Come on. Um. Oh. Seems to be there. All right, so should be live. Hello, you two. Or three, I should say now. Okay, so still trying to get myself prepared and everything. I got some pizza coming underway. I'm a little bit late on my end, but you know, better late than never, you know. Yes, yeah, Sharp, it's been a while indeed. Um, so until the pizza arrives, this is how long the pre-show is going to go on for, or roughly. So, um. So yeah, uh, uh, to explain the the obvious of what's gonna be what I'm gonna be streaming, I'm gonna be continuing Metroid Fusion. Um, I haven't started a call yet because um, I want to give out a little bit of detail on what's been happening, and this kind of does take into effect. Um, there is a negative side, but there's also a positive side, in, in the hopes that you know. I hope that this works out well, but basically, um, I've set up some new donation milestones. Um, no, Birch, I haven't completed Fusion yet. There's still a little bit more to go. Um, but until then, um, where should I start from this? <clears throat> Alright, so, as many of you know, I'm, you know, BronyCon is coming up. Um, I've already got things taken care of. I got my badge, I got my flight ticket and everything. Now, one of the things about going to Brony, uh, any convention, is that you gotta have some money with you so that way you're able to pay for food and take care of yourself in the next couple of days. So, throughout this month, I was originally planning on requesting some extra days at work in the hopes that I can save up extra after taking care of, you know, whatever expenses there are. I'm still in the process of taking care of them. I know I shouldn't be talking about personal stuff, but this actually does take into effect here, so just bear with me let me see if i can just make this mic closer because this was a little further away um so upon this week i discovered that from next week's schedule and onward apparently my job has rescheduled me into working fewer days which doesn't sit well with me now at the moment i am looking for other places to work at i'm applying at other jobs that pay more and hopefully i can get a better paying job you know it's 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 something that I should have done for the past few years, but, you know, silly me, I can always be too stuck in my comfort zone. But that's not the point of it. Um, because I'm working fewer days, there have, like, it's, I feel like I'm being drained. Like, in their defense, the way my job works is that I'm needed whenever there's new shipment arrived, and they have their schedule. And my job, or what my schedule is, is affected by their schedule. So that's really what it all comes down to. So there's no real spite behind it, but it does irritate me. Um, but because of that, I'm pretty much reaching that 
point where after taking care of all the exp um, all the priorities that are needed for the rent, you know, paying for rent and other kinds of shit, as well as getting prepared for other traveling expenses, uh, like paying for Uber and such, I'm going to be stripped down to like, I don't know, basically the kind of money that will not last me for a while. So because of that, yeah, this is going to be me e-bagging, and I just hope that I don't get hated for this. Um, but I do have some milestones uh, whenever it comes to, you know, something that, you know, you know, whenever it comes to something like this, I, I do want to offer something in return. You know, that's something that is always... Um, that's always a priority to me. It's I, I don't like taking advantage of people's finances, you know. And I'm not saying people have to donate, you know. I'm not like other streamers who are so... Um, what's the term? Okay, I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll put together this much. Uh, there was actually a YouTube video that I saw where a streamer from Twitch, because this person was commentating on this uh, streamer, she was literally telling people, if you're not donating, don't watch my, you know, stream. And I'm just sitting there cringing so hard at how ridiculous she is being, being so desperate to make a living online. And I'm just sitting there thinking, okay, that is not the way to go. I am not that kind of person. I allow anybody on my stream, whether you donate or not, that's completely up to you. I do have milestones, and this is something that I hope that you guys are, you know, you know, up for, you know, what these milestones are. It's not the end of the world if you can't support, you know. It's... I'm at a loss for words here. Um, I, I'm reading some of the comments here, and it seems that a lot of you, well, some of you, I don't know, it's, it's all good, it's understandable. Yeah, you guys are very understanding. Oh, Desert Samurai, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, season of the Wiccan, thank you for hosting. So, um, so who's the streamer that forces them to donate or not watch? I don't remember her name. Um, I'm only giving an example. Better yet, I'd rather not drop the name. Because doing that, it's gonna cause other kinds of shit to happen. I mean, as is, just mentioning it is running the risk. But to, to, but to prove a point, yeah, I'm kind of in need for a little bit of, uh, money help of a situation. But I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm being greedy, you know? It, it, I, I don't want to be like that. If you can't donate or if you choose not to donate, that's completely up to you. You know, that's the thing about... Uh, thank you guys for hosting. A lot of you are starting to do that hosting stuff. Uh, sorry if I didn't mention all your names. Uh, I'm trying to keep focus, uh, kind of keep track on here. But it's, it's something that I'm in, you know, I kind of want some help with something. Now, wanting is not the same thing as needing. Um... I think it's kind of needing because I do need to have some money in order to, you know, support myself with food. Now, Keyframe did say that she would be willing to help, but she's got a lot of things to do on her end. And I, I'm jumping all over the place. Basically, yeah, um, I have a donation goal that I named for emergency funds. Um, don't worry too much about that. Um, when it's there, it's there. Um, if I reach these milestones... That's cool, you know, I do appreciate that. If I don't, that is something that I do have to learn to accept. Um, you know, don't, don't, like, I'm trying not to spread it around like, you know, like, it's a serious situation. Um, I guess calling emergency funds was not a good idea. I'm not thinking straight. Uh, I've been kind of, like, jumping all over the place in my head, um, for the past couple of days ever since I discovered this. So, um, so basically, this is, a uh, this is just a new donation goal. I have it set for pretty much a small amount. So that way, you know, I don't come off as greedy, you know. It's... Hmm. Uh, Derek, I do appreciate that. Um, don't, if, if you're going to spread it around, don't see, don't spread it around like, oh, he's in desperate need of help. I'm holding myself back from Dean's uh, desperate. You know, I'm just looking for whatever options there are. So I just, you know... Hope people don't take it the wrong way. Um, do you dare try Pogo Stuck? What the fuck is Pogo Stuck? Is that a brand or something? Um, sometimes I'm not good at explaining myself from here, but um, by this point, I I better just go ahead and get a call started somewhere. 
So, um... Oh, that's right. Uh, I can join this call now. Sorry, Deckard. <laughs> uh... I got nothing to back up here. I'm doing a couple of things. To, uh, uh, what's up, uh, Birch? So Pogo Suck is basically getting over but multiplayer with Pogo Sticks you can't control? What's... Not familiar with that. It's cool to go then. I wish I know how to. Hey, go ahead. Oh, hey, EG. How are you doing? Oh, good. And the logic is here. You sound really quiet. Let me turn you up a bit. Uh, uh, are you away from the mic or something? No, I I just been the I just been making my uh, mic sound much better. But uh, hey, do I sound better now? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, okay. Okay. So EG, you've heard what I was talking about on the stream, right? Yeah, I was pretty much uh, watching uh, the uh, uh, right at the start. Uh, you started streaming. Okay, so yeah, so I'm I got just... so I got everything that you mentioned. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not the best at choosing, you know, the right words. <laughs> nah, you're good, dude. Yeah, uh, do just do what you gotta do. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, uh, this is a. I've set up a donation goal where I can hopefully have some money left over for the convention, because of the circumstance of my job. You know. <laughs> Oh, ow. Uh, thank you, Derek, for the 75 cheered, uh, inserting three quarters into an arcade cabinet. Okay. Sometimes I don't get the whole bits thing. Like, it, it's still alienated to me. Um, here, here we go, then. I have a, I, I have a song that, uh, that's my response to you. What song is that? It's is copyright that, strike. Is what snap out of it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so the song is called "Snap Out of It." Yeah, by Arctic Monkeys. Ah, also now, like also now, I've secured my spot on the stream. I'll be right back because I need to get some. Okay. Um, let's see. So Rajaniel, I I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what is my job? My job is working a graveyard shift at a supermarket where I have to empty out every aisle of trash uh, boxes from all the stackers who stack the products overnight and I have to clear them out. Um, at least you're not dealing at least you're not dealing those who are um a, a, who are defecating on groceries. Defecating? What do you mean? Oh, uh, okay, like there's this trend there's this weird trend on on Twitter that people are are like starting to deface uh, groceries uh, as a as a popular trend now like you you find people belching and burping on uh, uh, on cereal boxes. You see you see some of them uh, uh, like spitting, spitting and drooling in in in, in bleach bottles. What you the fuck? Them? Yeah, they're yeah. literally and they're okay. So to make they're, a they're trend off of it. So through this trend, they're expelling their bodily fluids on there in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, and I think um, why? I think, um, yeah, uh, Jasper also told me this uh, with Bliss that um, apparently someone was uh, was pissing at two aisles. Okay, that's asking to be, you know, arrested. That's a fucking violation. Yeah, he got arrested after that. Good. Instantly. Oh my fuck. Oh. Ugh. Like, seriously, seriously, why the fuck are they are like the facing groceries that we need to survive? This. What? The... I, I don't like see the gro... goddamn point of that. Just that just blows my mind. You know? Okay. It's bad enough that last, I think it was last year, there was the freaking Tide Pod challenge. This is just, what are they going to do next? I'm afraid, you know what? Don't answer. I'm afraid of asking. No, I'd rather ask, not know. If you ask, they're going to do what it. What are they eating this time? Expelling bodily fluids on the products, like what EG said. No, I'm just like, what, what the fuck are they going to do next year? I, mean, just... I have Who no knows? idea. Maybe I'll do the Desert Eagle versus the fucking Yellow Pages challenge again. Because no, that so I'd be okay. Off. I'd be okay with them TPing a, the a, inside the grocery, but uh, but um, I'm not but okay with facing... expel. I'm not cool with anybody expelling any kind of bodily fluid anywhere. Period. Yeah, but bodily fluids? No, not not at all. That's just fucking dis. Yeah. It's yeah, stupid. It's take... disgusting. I see no goddamn point of that other than just to quote Judge Judy. You're an idiot. Not <laughs> not even not even jackass. Would fucking... that shit. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Jackass has even they have fucking standards compared to this kind of crap. Yeah, and that's that's terrifying to hear someone say that jackass have standards. <sighs> We're talking about the same people who have a guy who not only branded his own ass with I think a dick, 
shape, <laughs> but also gave himself a jellyfish sombrero. <laughs> oh god. That's that's got a sting. His name is um Steve -o? I think it was Steve. -o. Is that the one? Yeah, I yeah, I think one of them name was Steve. -o. Also, even though I came back to people talking about shitting on products in a supermarket, I'm hold on. Yeah. Shit. Let's not forget let's not forget um Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> he's he's the best. And fun fact He was he, actually in some movies, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh he was in Men of Black Two. And, and he was also and he was also uh used as a as a character reference for to design Nathan Drake from Uncharted. So uh, I'm one hundred percent the opposite surprise. Okay, so mm -hmm. getting getting to another part of the topic of what I was talking about. Um so I have a couple of um, milestones listed here. I hope you guys are ready for a surprise. So, <clears throat> um, so the emergency fund's goal is at two hundred dollars, which I hope that's not too much. It may be less. You know, I'm not expecting that. But uh, running down what these uh, milestones are: at one hundred dollars, Top Gun on the NES. Oh God! <laughs> to the danger zone. Down. Okay, now at two hundred, <laughs> Mickey Mouse capade. Whoa! Nice. That fucking sucks. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. But... <laughs> and last but not least, at three hundred dollars, if I you know exceed past that number, I'll do Cat Mario. Cat Mario. Let's do this. You don't know what Cat Mario is, eg? What is that? Is that like a PETA game? Okay, uh, let's just say that it is the Wait, most... Wait, can I take this one? Can I take this one? Fire away. Okay, EG. So, the best way, the most flawless way to describe Cat Mario to you is it's a game that's designed to hurt you. It uh, hates you. It wants you to suffer and die. You're not Mario, you are a cat. You're not in the Mario world, you are in hell. <laughs> hell has been given a Mario shader. Everywhere you step is to kill you in every which way possible and it will you will never complete the game in one attempt and you will hate yourself forever oh my god that's a human so you're saying it's it's that it's that hard as um what's that what's that movie what's that movie called no what's that game called i am bread <laughs> it's no. harder than I am bread. Okay, I, I will. Okay, I, I will explain it this much. So basically, you have the level design and game engine of Super Mario Brothers. It even has the first like one dash one um, uh, stage. You know, the very first stage of the first Mario Brothers game. Not to be confused with the arcade game, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You know the one that the iconic stage everybody and their dog knows of. Well, uh, they. You play as a little, you play as a cat, and you jump all over the place. And some of the obstacles are they're they're designed to piss you off. For instance, you want to hit one of the blocks; it's blocked off by a hidden block. Um, oh, if you try to get a mushroom, it does nothing. You try to go over certain pipes; some random obstacles are altered, and they're traps. Literally. Oh, I think I've seen footage of this the, a basically long the map time is, ago. Oh. Every map is chock full of a metric fuck kind of fuck you ass. It's it, yeah, it's very trollish of a game, and it's utterly hilarious when playing it. Um, I can see that a lot of people in the chat are like, "No, don't torture yourself." Like that's the idea. That's what's so funny it's, about it. It's like I think I have the quintessential phrase to describe Cat Mario, well, and it goes yeah, well. it goes as such. Hmm? At least getting over it shows you what you're doing. Well, <laughs> well I got one more game. Well, I got one more getting game. Over, to, uh... Getting over it hides nothing. Well, I got one more game to... Go uh... ahead, EG. Like I was saying, like, hey, well, it looks like I got one more game to uh to tease uh, Watchful to play with. Oh, God. <laughs> I would love to yeah, see yeah. his reaction. <laughs> I've seen a couple of clips from his um his uh this bread thing. Like, there's one where he's stuck on one of those lamps. And he's like, would you move? God damn it. I saw that. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I even... It's, I even lost it so much when I told him about his cat being burned. Oh, yeah, no. Are you betraying me? <laughs> I love that. Oh, God. Damn it, season. With my bean and my sombrero, my candy is never far away. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I hope that these milestones are effective. Let's see. It's Kaiser Mario all over again. If Golden plays Cat Mario, bet you that after that, Golden will play Tetris and have Blizzy be in the call. Um... 
Okay, I will tell you this much. I am prepared to go through some kind of bullshit with Cat Mario. And getting the reaction is, real, like, literally what's so funny about it. It's just getting a reaction, you know? Yeah. 200 isn't so bad, because Watchful did, uh, and did, um, do, um, a, two, a $200 donation. <laughs> yeah. So, and so you're on the fair route here. Like, how far you got till your first milestone? For Watchful? Uh, oh. The first. Which is why I said first. Oh, his. Okay. You know, the big one ST. <laughs> one ST. I like yeah. that. But yeah, Golden, how far are you from your first game, Miles? Uh, hang on. Okay, so the first milestone, right right now I'm currently at zero. Um, oh, okay. The first milestone at 100, you know, reiterated again, it's Top Gun. I'm not doing it again. 200, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Capade, that stupid Mickey Mouse game. <laughs> cool. I yeah. can't do it right. Oh. Also, nobody heard me crack open a cold one. Oh, I'm saving my cr uh, cold one. Okay, down. I want a, I want a custom made cold one that, like a cherry cold one, unless we already have one of those. Yes, Mickey. Uh, Derek. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yes, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> that is another milestone. Yeah, I'm taking on some games that are stupid. Have you played Secret of Mana for the SNES? Um, as far as other RPG games go, um, if I'm going to do any of that stuff, oh boy, that's going to take up like a majority of the year. Because RPGs take a while to play through. Like, with the exception of Pokemon, I've never really beaten an RPG game. Hmm. Like, not even Final Fantasy VI. And with your comment about taking most of the year, considering we're already over halfway done. Mm-hmm. Uh, Random side note, can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm already eager for Final Fantasy VII, the remake. It's like, time for me moves like nothing. Derek, it should be uh, it should be doable to stream Flash games. Yeah, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's it's a Flash game. That's really what that all is. I remember, um, I remember a long time ago, I used to uh, follow this guy, a good friend of mine. He, um, he always played, like, a lot of, uh, Mostly ROM hack and um, and uh, Flash Mario games that were just ripped from uh, the Mario the Mario Brothers engine. Mario Speaking Breath of Super Mario wow, J J twelve K has a huge grudge on Benefati. Christ, man. I mean, every is weird because every YouTube playthrough I've seen of getting over of Benefati follows three very specific stages. The first stage, I like to call Blissful Ignorance. Where they're just like, oh, look, it's a tree. I'm going to just go over this tree. And then they get over the tree. And the midsection is, well, the second stage is despair. Just absolute despair and agony. Like, again, a circle of hell unexplored as of yet. And it's suffering. All of those videos are suffering and pain and sadness. But then... Whenever I see someone get to the end of the game, they're always in the third stage where they're just accepting that the game really isn't bad. It's just challenging the point of actual psychological pain, but it's not permanent. And they've come to terms with it by the time they finish, and it seems really poetic how it always goes the same way. Uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, Thomes, uh, I've, I've seen the picture. You don't need to send the link. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I love I love how you guys completely blanked my insight. Like, Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. A, uh, that's sorry about that. It's just not like I'm it's it's fine. Concentrating, I get it. Concentrating finishing this Bob Ross style painting. Ooh. Can I paint a happy little tree, a friendly cloud? Yeah, hi, God bless you. I'm also doing... someone mentioned emulators earlier. So I've been so glad you come and join. Go ahead, Logic. Yeah, someone mentioned emulators earlier, and I've been considering, like, potentially getting the Metroid Prime series emulators on my PC to try them out. I'll be back in just a second. Do it.
because everybody keeps like hyping up Metroid Prime and I kind of want to fill a void in my life that's caused by having not played this game, apparently. I have not played them. I've always wanted to, but never had the chance. Also, Snickerman says, also, Snickerman says, hi, all. Hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was... I like the Metroid series, and it's all your people, you people's fault. I'm blaming all of this on you people, because, like, all the Metroid stuff I've seen makes me want to try it and stuff. And I want to try Metroid Prime because everybody keeps talking about how amazing it is. And, you know, there's a new Metroid Prime on the way. So I want to get familiar with it, I guess. And what better way to get familiar with a game than get it on an emulator that runs on a PC that isn't it? the console as far as I'm aware, so. Nick Zilla says, of the Prime Trilogy, I only ever enjoyed 1 and 3, 2 was just... Oh, so the Bioshock effect. Bioshock effect? Yeah, basically, the, the idea of the Bioshock effect is that, like, you ha there's basically three Bioshock games. Everybody loves the first one. A lot of people love the infinite the third one but not a lot of people like the second one <sighs> Let's see. and that's what you see happening with metroid prime or at least nick zilla says oh ah, um something i also thing. i wanted to add uh, something else so uh, i've changed up the uh the the donation just a bit um you can still you know donate and put like quotes in there but um i threw in a little extra picture of some kind whenever somebody donates i think you guys will be in for a surprise so i'll uh i'll leave it at that <laughs> uh -huh. Morpheus just like Morpheus just fed me the chronology of the Metroid Prime series. Oh yeah, uh, I think all the Prime uh, games take place uh, after the first game before the second one. Oh. But yeah, I'm ever so slightly interested in trying my luck getting like the main Metroid Prime games. I think there's three main ones. Reminds me of how um. Reminds me of a uh, don't don't make cry. A lot of people like the first. A lot of people hated the second. But everyone ain't love the third one the most. The Prime games? No, no, no. Uh, like Devil May Cry, for example. Oh, okay. So yeah, Devil May Cry had the same. It had the same uh problem too. Hey, uh, first, one was good. I... first one was good. Second one was bad. Third was uh, third was very good. Hey, uh, Thomes, I um, I think we've already seen that one. Yeah, I saw it last week. What's this? Also, I'm ever so slightly confused about the whole deal with people not liking games like Bioshock 2. Because Bioshock 2 is actually pretty solid, all things considered. Maybe um, it was forgettable or something. Let's see. It's like, I understand it hasn't got the big would you kind of spectacle, and it's actually just you playing the Big Daddy section of the first game as a entire game. But it's not bad. I don't feel like it. You Let's cut off. Up. You cut off for a bit. And it sounded like you said "daddy sexual." <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Sections, sections. You know, in the <laughs> first game where you get the big daddy section, where you have to watch off the little sisters. Yep, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. That's how um the little which, sisters you know, call in their You know, which in their. He says mean. with the most unpleasant grimace on his. All right. So. Mm -hmm. I think I should go get. Do, 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 do. Um, I should get the emulator set up and everything, so I should be ready to go. But yeah, I guess I'm asking because I need someone who like knows how emulators work because I don't want to break anything and I have absolutely zero confidence in myself. I think Duff is pretty easy to uh to run. Um, I I don't use it anymore, but uh, it's it is a popular emulator. Yeah, so basically what I'm saying is, like, at some point, can someone pass me, like, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to not fuck my PC? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Morpheus, I think I may have seen your picture already. Um, I think it was something with TF2. I was playing Battleship with Josh, I think. Yeah, Battleship. It was a fucking movie of that. 
I saw. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but I, but I know it's. But I know it sounds bad. It's a really bad movie. Well, you're, you're, you made a movie based off of a fucking board game. And hmm. and guess the plot twist. They added. They added aliens in the movie. That that's. You know what? I'm not gonna bother complaining about that. That's not gonna get me anywhere. Also, Desert Samurai asked a pretty interesting question about. Like living in a video game series, would you live in the Metroid because of the Prime series? If I was gonna live in a video game series, I wouldn't live in the Metroid series because yeah. between, between the as much as the yeah, as much as between, I love the Metroid series, um, you don't want to live in that. Good luck trying yeah. not to get sucked away by the goddamn Metroids. Between yeah. the Metroids, Mother Brain, Ridley, the X Parasite, and honestly, just the Federation itself, which is probably their own worst enemy, from what I. Wrote. From what I understand, oh, they sound God, like well yeah. Yutani all over again. I don't. No thanks. I choose life. <laughs> speaking of speaking of aliens, uh, season shared me this link that um, if you heard the news that half a million people want to uh want to uh breach it through uh, Area Fifty One to see the aliens. Okay, I'm not buying into that because um, Snickerman, you guys probably know Snickerman, maybe. He's even in the chat of the stream. He brought up the Area 51 thing. And oh my God. when reading it, I saw that there was a little bit about how they said they were going to Naruto run in order to be faster than the bullets of the guards at Area 51. <laughs> you mean Sonic run? Now, before anything else, <clears throat> I don't like people anymore. Like, at all. <laughs> The, these people who want to invade Area 51, they have shown me that humanity is beyond saving, and I just hate it now. <laughs> Beings of flesh and mind are clearly inferior to just a lack of existence. All right, well, um, <laughs> I think it's time I get straight to the game. Yeah. <laughs> Season said it best. It's too peopley outside. It's too peopley outside. Yep. yep. All right. Also, from where, from where I understand, from where we left off, had you defeated the big green oozing face boss, or are you still fighting? I took care big of him. Green. Oh yay! Yeah. Anyways, changing hey, everything up. Dead now. Yep.